I'm about to go meet this girl. No, no, not like that. I'm about to go meet this girl named Alexis. She is actually Carol's daughter. Now, Alexis has a t-shirt company. She prints t-shirts and other cool stuff. Well, I've had a couple people complain about this and I'm a very, I'm very aware of it. I'm not a fan of it either. Teespring, their quality of their shirts are just not fantastic. Um, after doing a little bit of research, I did find out there are other companies out there that do the same thing Teespring does, but they're still just not that good. Um, their, their quality isn't any better and their system is definitely not better. I really want to give you guys the quality I think you deserve, especially since this is kind of promoting my brand and I, I'm not a fan of Teespring. Well, Carol told me her daughter actually makes t-shirts and apparently she uh, made a video that became pretty popular. So she does really good on her business and she wanted to see today i'm gonna go talk to her see if we can work out a deal and we might if we figure something out maybe she'll start making t-shirts for me uh, i thought i thought you were still heading out and no, you're good. Come back. i am um, you. thank you i messed up um and only got that package only uh, but i'll okay. get your shirts and stuff that's fine because the other uh package is supposed to arrive till today anyway okay later and tonight. you're leaving out of town today no actually i was gonna hang out until uh we're done doing whatever i I, all I have is time, so. Okay, well I'm gonna, I mean, we're headed over to the laundromat and doing the bleaching there. If you wanna come, or we can do it a different day. something I haven't done in a while, and I'm boxing. Box, stuff in it. Uh, cigarette, lighter, solar panel, lighter cables, USB LEDs, elemental piece. If you saw Jeep's video, he actually had LED bars in his Jeep. I have these lights up here right now. And the problem is those are AAA powered and I use them a lot. I actually sometimes won't even use them even when I need to use them because I don't want to waste them. So these are gonna be a huge upgrade. Really excited to put these on. It was super awesome eating Alexis. She has an awesome thing going with her company. 
So in case you kind of missed what I was planning on doing, the whole plan, the whole reason I ended up talking to her and stuff is because I'm trying to see if she can actually print and sell my merch. She's also working on getting some other things done, so I might be able to start selling like Yeti cups, keychains, cool stuff like that. Something I wanted to bring up real fast though, when I was recording her, it's a Corvette, it's really loud, sorry. It was really bright outside, it still is. I actually have my camera set to the max it can be for darkening it. I have it at the f-stop is at 22. Um, very bright out here, I don't know if you can tell or not. So I'm, I wanted to fix that. And this is something I've wanted to do for a while. I just got it done, so I'm gonna change the image now. All right, now my f-stop is at f20. And so if I set it at f22, that's there. I think the picture is way better. Even the sky looks better. Wow. Like everything. If I adjust it this way, I'm able to brighten the image. That looks awesome. Super pumped about this. So I just put a, um, this is a polarized lens on the camera. It's kind of like a sunglasses for the camera lens. It's supposed to help with the image. It should make the quality better on like lots of stuff actually. When I was doing photography for a dealership, I was like required to have one of these lenses on here. I think I actually had a UV lens on, but just look at the quality difference usually days aren't this bright but this lens will definitely help a lot with the picture quality it's a lot more crisp i'm liking it looks good i wish i would have had this earlier today i'm already getting cold feet guys my original plan was go to durant get like $700 or more. I was actually expecting to make like a thousand. The way I was gonna do that was by getting a minimum of $100 a day from DoorDash. And that was gonna seem super easy because literally the first day I went back there, I made $100 just by doing dinner. I didn't even do lunch. So I was thinking next day, I'm probably gonna make like $150 or so. If, if I could make $100 one way or even just $70 in two spots, $70 lunch, $70 dinner, that's still more than 100 bucks. If I do that every single day, I was gonna make bank. That was my plan, but DoorDash has just been really sucky the last couple days. I don't know why. Plan now, I'm going to go back to Durant this weekend. I'm gonna see if I can really just work my butt off and get a lot of money just if that doesn't happen, if DoorDash is super slow on, slow on the weekend or whatever, and if I'm not getting some good income by Monday, I'm going to f just drop it. I'm going to start heading to Colorado. I really want to get up to Colorado. Colorado was the original plan from day one. When I started this journey last summer, the plan was to get to Colorado and just go from there. So many things have held me up from this point. Some physical, some emotional, some just overall it's just hasn't been too great for me. But I'm finally, I feel like I'm in my prime now. I feel like I finally am back to feeling like myself for the first time in a long time. I have the inspiration. I have the ability. I have, there's nothing stopping me now. I want to get out into the Rockies. I want to record beautiful cinematic images. I want to show what it really is like to live on the road, to travel. And when, I, when I'm spending time doing DoorDash, I, I'm not able to do that. Like... I actually made an appointment early in the morning. I'm gonna go get Bonita's windshield fixed. You hear that, hippie? I'm actually gonna get it fixed now. It's gonna, she's gonna get fixed up. She needs a little bit of love. I've be, really been holding it off. I was waiting till I had the money to spare, and now I have some money to blow, so I'm just gonna get her fixed after that. She still needs things that need fixed, but I don't have time to wait around and get that you know, figured out. So I, I wanna get back on the road and get out to Colorado. That is the plan. I'm super excited about getting this done, but I I have to, you know, make sure I'm financially stable before I do that. But I believe that once I get out there, things are going to change a lot. I'm really confident in that. You see those roads? You see the gravel and the bumps and on the on the sidewalk? Yeah. That's a problem. You know what wouldn't have a problem in that? A freaking one wheel. I want to be like if Casey Neistat was traveling, living in a Jeep, except for with a one wheel instead of a booster board. I don't have the money for a one wheel, but one day, one day I'm going to have one. It's gonna be awesome. One day. I don't know, recording with a big camera like this on a tripod really draws a lot of attention. What is that? For a split second, I genuinely thought that was a big bottle of beer, like wine, or like a trash can. 
Once again, something that a booster board would have done just fine. More obstacles a one wheel could get over. I don't know why, As I, the more I ride this thing, the more it makes me realize how much I really want one. I'm just gonna spend the whole day ranting about why I want a one wheel instead of this thing. I don't even need this. Useless. Many boards are useless. See, people keep honking at me because I'm walking around with this big camera on a tripod, and so they're like, oh look, look, it's a YouTuber. If I honk at him, maybe he'll shout me out in my video or something, I don't, I, I really don't know. Uh, I like the ones that say wait when you press it, so you just keep pressing and it's like wait, 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 wait. Alright, forget it, I'm jaywalking. It's taking way too long for me. Okay, I made it. I survived. Police didn't arrest me. It's me. <laughs> Ooh, that Jeep over there looks pretty familiar. I think I might know those people. Hmm. Is anybody home? Hello? They're not in there. I'm sorry. To... Nope. Okay. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Call Carol on speaker. True. Hello, where are you guys? Um, actually at the law offices, we're off, uh, Lexus's offices. I'm by your Jeep. <laughs> oh, you are? Yeah, I was coming here to see if my solar panel came in yet, because I never got the notification saying it did, and I was like, meh, I'm at the coffee shop, I'll ride my penny board down there, and then I was like, hey, I recognize that Jeep. <laughs> Telling you guys, that wouldn't happen in, say it with me now, a one wheel. Wow, look at her, so majestic. With the birds, the birds, she's so majestic. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be completely honest. They are not as bright as I was hoping slash expecting them to be, but aside from that, check this out. Green, uh, blue, white, what we had before, orange, kind of red, green-ish, different color green, uh, purpley, that one, this one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Or we could do, um, that's night. You see, it's like weird. Jump, fade, really set the mood there. Flash, point is I can change a lot of settings on this thing. It's still not quite as bright as I was hoping it would be, but in here it's pretty cool looking, I like it.